Hey guys, I totally wasn't planning on filming a vlog today. Um, it's already 5.57 p.m. and I was just about to go to the gym and I was just texting my accountability buddy because um, I was going to take today as a rest day and there's no reason to. I've just been a bum. I was running errands and I actually took a nap because I was exhausted. I don't know why I'm exhausted. I'm not working. Not working is exhausting. Um, and I was just um, doing some reading and I was texting my accountability buddy and she's at the gym and I was like, I should really go. So I was all ready to go. I even texted her and said, okay, you made me, you talked me into it. And when I was leaving right now, I'm out of breath because I just ran up the stairs, but I was leaving right now and there was a package at the doorstep from my accountability buddy. And it says, huge congrats on your special engagement. I'm happy you found the man of your dreams. Now you will be sweating for the wedding. Love, Nikki. I'm so excited, Nikki. So let's see what it looks like. She got me a, I think it's a tank top. I feel like I should change now. This is so, it's so soft and comfy, my gosh. Oh, it says sweating for the wedding. That's so adorable. So I had to vlog it because she'll want to see this. Oh my gosh, I love it, Nikki. Thank you so much. The color's perfect and the material is perfect. I love it. I was not expecting this at all. She asked me for her address and um, I sent her a birthday gift last week. So I thought, well, maybe she's just sending me a birthday card. I mean, a, a thank you card, not a birthday card. Aw, and it's from a California place. Even though she lives in Washington. Thank you, Nikki. Okay, I'm gonna go to the gym now, and I'm gonna be sweating for the wedding. Talk to you later. I'm walking home from the gym now. I hope this, um, works, even though I have my headphones in. I don't understand. walking her dogs and then there were these other people walking to the gym I think so um, the whole time I was in the gym there were these people running there's a couple now this guy's looking at me like I'm crazy this might not be such a great idea to walk around with my iPad um, there was a couple running and the entire time they didn't use any music or anything and we have TVs in the gym but for some reason the direct TV is out right now so um, they were just running with no music or anything I brought my iPad which was a genius idea I've never done that before I usually bring my cell phone but I think I'm gonna bring my iPad from now on um, they were just running and running and running and they didn't have any music on or anything and I was like how do you do that um, so yeah, there's free Wi-Fi in the gym, so I'm thinking I'll bring my iPad from now on. I was watching vlogs um, while I was on the elliptical, and it really helped time pass, and I didn't have to stare at a little tiny screen, so, um, oh, they have their door all decorated for Halloween, that's cute. Um, I realized that I haven't really filled you all in on things. I posted a blog yesterday, um, but I don't know if it didn't make shoes up. Hold on a second. I'll record it in a minute. Um, I realized that I haven't really filled you all in on some things. Um, if you read my blog yesterday, then you know, um, but I didn't really go on my Instagram and post that I wrote another blog. I just kind of posted it and let it be there. Um, I am currently not working. That's why I said earlier that it's exhausting not working. Um, I left my 
place of employment. Um, I wrote about that on my blog, so if you want to read it, I'll put the link below so you can read it. Um, also, if you don't know, I'm engaged. I'm wearing it on my middle finger right now because it's uh, a little too big for me. Um, my boyfriend, fiance, whoops, fiance, ordered me a size 6, which is what I thought I was. Um, I don't know if I've lost more... I mean, I haven't really lost more weight, so I can't see why my fingers would have shrunk again, but um, we're going to go. I'm going to have it resized, but it takes two weeks, and I don't want to give it up yet because this weekend we're going to the mountains for um, an annual trip that we do, um, and we're going to see all of our, well, his best friend, his best friend's wife, his mom, his mom's friend. I'm not sure if my parents are going to make it yet because my mom has really bad vertigo, so she gets car sick on the mountain drive, um, the drive up the mountain. So, yeah, those were a couple of the things I forgot to mention the other day. Um, what else? When I was at the gym, I was like, oh my gosh, I was talking about how I'm unemployed, but I didn't even, um, I'm like sweating right now. My hair looks awesome, too. I didn't even tell you all. Um, so I apologize. I haven't been vlogging lately. It's just been really crazy uh, with leaving my job, and then my uncle passed away, and I was with my family all weekend. And, um, yeah. And then I got engaged. <laughs> and then my boyfriend proposed. Fiancé proposed. Um, which, uh, that's also, the story is also on my blog. I'll put that link below, too. Um, what else, what else, what else? I think I want to go take a shower. It's 6.37, so I was only at the gym for 30 minutes, but I am dripping. Um, I'm going to go take a shower, and I'm thinking about trying out a new recipe tonight. I might vlog that. I've been making this chocolate that I got from Truly Daily, um, Jess. Jess at Truly Daily. I've been watching her vlogs and she made this chocolate with coconut oil and cocoa powder and oh and Vega protein and then I think she would put like stevia to taste but um I kind of mixed it up a little and made it my own so I also have been adding PB2 and I've been sprinkling a little bit of sea salt on top oh my gosh it's so good I made it for my mom this weekend and my sister-in-law and my aunt and they all loved it. And um, also, last night I tried it with our peppermint stevia, so it was like peppermint chocolate. That was pretty good too. My, my fiance liked that a lot. Um, but I was thinking, I got some honey crisp apples yesterday, so I was thinking of making the chocolate and then like cutting up the apple and like dipping the apple and then putting it in the freezer on parchment paper. So then it'll be like a candied apple kind of thing. Hmm thinking I'll try that. If I do, I will vlog that. Um, we'll see how it turns out. Not sure how that would go. I hope it would work, but sometimes you never know. It might be like an epic fail. So, Also, epic fail. When I was at the gym, I was on the elliptical for like five minutes before I actually started the elliptical. I was just going and going. I was too preoccupied setting up my Wi-Fi and uh, making sure my vlog was playing for Truly Daily. So, alrighty, I'm gonna go shower and I'll talk to y'all later. Okay. Right as I press record, the phone starts ringing. I'll be right it's back. My fiance. He is um, leaving work right now, but he's gonna stop at the store for me because I need almond milk. So, I told you guys I was gonna try a new recipe with apple and that chocolate that um, I got from Truly Jess, but. I have really sensitive teeth, and I don't know what I was thinking about trying to eat a frozen apple. Not going to happen. So, I'm just going to make the chocolate, and I'm going to show you all how I do it. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so I like to use a coffee mug. You can use a bowl. You can use whatever you want to use. But, um... For some reason, like, the shape of this kind of mug works perfectly because then when you go to break the chocolate later on, it's it's just perfect. So I, use, I either use this mug or this mug. So I haven't tried it in a bowl yet, but I'm sure 
I'm sure it would work. This is just my preference. So, um, okay, so I take um, coconut oil, and this is my favorite one. I haven't tried it with any other, and I know Jess preferred this one too because this is organic and it is cold pressed. Yes, those are the kinds you want to use, the cold pressed and organic coconut oil. And um, I'm sure a lot of you are afraid of fats and afraid of, um, I know we like are in a society now where we fear fat, um, but this is a good kind of fat. And um, I get really bad cystic acne around my chin. And um, one of the things that I read, uh, all of the things I read, say that any acne around the chin area is from hormones. And then I was reading an article about how to, um, what's it called? Like, moderate or level your hormones. Um, one of the things they said was to consume a quarter cup of coconut oil a day. That's a lot, but... Um, this chocolate makes it really easy to consume that much. So, I mean, I've seen an improvement. Um, I also have been taking some supplements. So I'm not quite sure what's helping, but I will keep using them both because something's working. So, okay. So I put um, coconut oil. I do about two tables, two spoonfuls. And then um, I'm going to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. And then I also have cocoa powder. I prefer Truvia. I know Jess used Stevia, but I like the um, the Truvia has like the the grainy graininess, and it's really good when you're chewing on the chocolate. Um, PB2. You don't have to put the PB2, but I really like it with the PB2. You could just make regular chocolate. You don't need the peanut butter. And then I use. Um, my Vega that I wrote about a few, um, I think it was a few months ago now, but I use Vega. I have tried this with other protein. We have a lot of um, whey protein here in the apartment. And it doesn't work with whey protein. I don't know what it is, but it works with the vegan protein. So, um, and Jess uses Vega too. So I don't know what it is about the Vega. Um, but, yeah. Okay, so, I wish I could show you all. I was hoping that um, my fiancé was going to be home to film me do this for you all, but it's okay, we'll make it work. So I put about, um, like, two spoonfuls of cocoa powder. The darker the chocolate you like, I mean, if you really like dark chocolate, put more. So about two spoonfuls is really good. It's more like a milk chocolate. But if you like dark chocolate, you could add more cocoa powder and it'll just be darker chocolate. So, I put in the cocoa powder first and I just stir it up. I use a fork, you could probably use a whisk. And I've come to realize that it's better if you put in each ingredient at a time or else you're gonna just have a bunch of like clumps. Okay, so the cocoa powder's been stirred. And now, I'm going to put in the Vega. I put about like a spoonful of Vega. I'm sure you could put more, but I prefer it with a spoonful. I've tried this a couple times, and um, I feel like I've like perfected the, um, perfected the way I like it. I'm sure some people prefer it differently. You just keep stirring. The Vega does kind of leave little baby clumps. Baby clumps. <laughs> um, but it, you can't really tell once it's frozen and you're eating it. It's not that big a deal. So I'm stirring that up. And then I'm going to add the PB2. This delicious stuff. So good. One spoonful is fine. And then I'm going to stir that up. So this is kind of going to be like a, like a peanut butter cup. So 
Stir it up, stir it up. Kind of like you're whisking an egg. Now I'm gonna add my trubia. I just kind of like sprinkle, sprinkle it on top, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna stir it one more time. And then I usually, yeah, that's good. I usually lick the fork just to make sure the flavor is good. Because um, you can pretty much tell if you lick the fork and it's too bitter, you might want to add some more. And then I just take sea salt and I sprinkle a little bit on top. So let me see if I can show you guys what it looks like. Can you see? That's what it looks like. Looks just like hot chocolate. And then um, I'm going to put it in the freezer. Probably about 15 minutes. Make sure it's level. Make sure it's on a level surface so that it, um, when it freezes, it is level. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to let that freeze and I'll show you the um, finished product when it's done. Chocolate is ready. I wanted to show you. Can you see? Cannot, no. You can't see it? It's too dark. The There's no light coming from over here. Well, then come over I here. can see the mug, but I love how you're like. Can they? Can you see it now? You're breaking the third wall, babe. What does that mean? Sorry, breaking the fourth wall. What does that mean? That's where you actually start talking to <laughs> the people on the opposite it's side. It's okay. You talk to the viewers. There's no rules. I make my own rules. Okay, so it's frozen. And can you film? You just take a knife, and it just breaks really easily, probably because it's, why would it do that, because it's oil? You're the smart one. Well, it's relatively still malleable because it's got a fatty substance in okay. it, yeah. What he said. But and it's then, shattering because the molecules have frozen. Really? <laughs> I'm just too babe, smart for me. Babe, all you have to do in life is talk bullshit and <gasps> believe yourself. Hey, this is my vlog. We don't cuss on my vlog. Hey, you're having eloquent vessel film this, so you're crossing the streams here, my dear. Okay, so this is my chocolate. Mm hmm I just wanted to show them what it looks like when it's done. Yeah. And you just break it really easily. And I got a card from my grandma in the mail. I told my fiance we're already getting gifts and cards and we're not even married yet. By the way, I've had my thumb in front of the camera the entire time. No, you have not. I was looking at the camera. Yes, I did. Did you actually hit record? Oh, I am now. Ooh. Did you actually hit record? Yes. Okay. There's a stop symbol here. And it's in 2 and 12 minutes. Okay, good. That's right. Two minutes and twelve seconds. Okay, I'm done now. No, you're not. Why? Because I said so. What else am I gonna say? Um. Well, you should probably say bye-bye to these nice people or something. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.